Hey, how's it going, my internet family? This is uh, BreakTube again from my uh, YouTube, and this is part four of my commentary on my ROM hack Pokemon Red version 2. Point, well, proud as version 2.5. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, this is pretty much going to wrap up the first part of the game. Uh, this will be the first rival battle, and that's Dream Say from Common Rider. Forze, and I'm Gintaro from Kamarad Forze. Anyhow, so something that you'll notice, which uh, a lot of people were happy that had a lot of replay value, depending on what Pokemon you have, you know, your starter is, like Gary will have like a lot of different Pokemon, like his team is very diverse based on uh, whatever Pokemon you started with. Which uh, I'm, I'm going to come out with a 3.0 later, which may be an official release of this game, and I'm going to have to change around this team a little bit, but anyhow, uh, you know, it's more or less the same, uh, you know, he has his starter and a random second Pokemon, you know, in this case it's Paris and Charmander, if you picked well before. So, uh, anyhow, you know, he shouldn't be too much trouble, especially if he went through Gridian Forest first and then came back there, and, uh, if you caught a lot of the Pokemon around the area it should be very, very easy for you to take out. And so anyhow, he lets you know about the Pokemon League and you need all the badges to actually, you know, get there, you know, to challenge the Elite Four and everything. So he goes on his way. And so now, um, I'm going to try to get that first gym badge. So, uh, I walk in the gym and fight the first uh, trainer. Now, this guy right here, He'll probably notice some changes because he has, like I said, all the trainers have the exact same Pokemon, you know, that they use. But because of this, since I've modded the move sets of them, or the starting move sets better yet, like the fights usually turn out a little different. And uh, this is probably a good example. So, like, Diglett, like, he can just learn ahead, but which is a pretty powerful move. But, you know, I, I, I kind of feel like he kind of needed something for his level 1 moves, so I just kind of tossed it in here, but cause he, I think he actually learned that in black too and white too, so I just tossed it in there. So anyhow, uh, considering Bergamil, you know, I, I've been leveling up the duo so much, she hasn't learned any grass moves, which will kind of make this a long and drawn out battle, unfortunately, but, you know, you'll pretty much see what you're up against when you get, get to this point. Uh, another fact I should mention, uh, a lot of people, especially when version 2 came out, uh, they, they were posting like, yeah, I'll be the least 4 and did all this, but they like, the Pokemon like level 90, close to 100, and I was kind of troubled by that. I was like, ah, that's, I'm happy that you beat the game with like level 90 and 100 Pokemon, but golly, you know, I think the highest one Pokemon in the game was... I want to say 60 or 70, I, I'll have to go back to find the actual number, I, but some people want to do overkill. <laughs> but, I know one thing about this, like, I encourage you, uh, a lot of people have been messaging me about it, like, hey man, you know, or challenge, challenge yourself to, let's say, be East Gym, or beat the game with the lowest level possible. It doesn't really matter what Pokemon you have on your team, you know, some are obviously better than others, but, you know. It should be interesting to find out what teams you use and what experiments and stuff like that. Uh, I would love to see some videos of that personally. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I switch out to the duo and uh, just let the pretty much let the least thing finish them off. Yeah. So anyhow, uh, I guess next Pokemon is Sandshrew and. And I pulled back out Burger Mill because he's back to full health if you take it. And he has kind of worry about all the sand effects and stuff. So I'll just toss another leak seed out. And another interesting thing about leak seed is you probably know from the previous video, it only absorbs after the opponent attacks or does an action better yet. So it's not like in turn type of deal, you know. <laughs> so like I said, it's pretty basic stuff. Uh, you know, you use Grout to lower the attack, and you know, so you pretty much the trade off of you attacking is higher than the trade off of him attacking you. And for those of you that remember the original red, uh, you know, Sentru and I think Sandflash had like pretty high defense, like just regular defense. 
which made him like a very, you know, good Pokemon to catch when you get to that point in the game. And I also, um, I was given a thing standing true uh, Defense Curl, which is, if we're going to hit some salt moves, which will, once you catch him, he'll be a very nice addition to your team, but I, I do stress to have a diverse team. You know, you don't want to catch the same Pokemon. Are you kidding? It's up to you, but <laughs> that's why I suggest experimenting with some of the newer moves that some of the newer Pokemon, or just see what's Pokemon change. <laughs> Anyhow, like I said, I'm quite sure if you pick Squirtle, you probably didn't go to this, you do Bubble, or, you know, Water Gun until you win. This battle is probably easy, 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 easy. Because, uh, pretty much the way I set up the world, if you pick, let's say, Charmander, this is like the highest difficulty. Bulbasaur will be, you know, medium, and Squirtle will be like super easy autopilot, you know. <laughs> But another thing you should notice, uh, if you play, once you play through the game, it kind of, you know, you can, a lot of people kind of solo. I know a lot of people solo with, uh, just their starter and some HM Pokemon and version 2. But, you know, I try to make it a little bit more difficult to do that with this one. <laughs> I think one guy, uh, he actually just solo with Blastoise the whole game and just kind of level 80 versus level 60. But, yeah, you know, it's your game. Anyhow, so, just like in the old version, uh, Aerodactyl, uh, would be his starting Pokemon starting match, which, you know, caught a lot of people off by surprise if they had both, so that they could just walk in there and win, yeah, but, not the case. <laughs> so, anyhow, Aerodactyl is very fast and has a lot of strong moves. Uh, let's see. One thing I did change with the start moves that I, I wanted to change a lot with the same Brock is when, instead of getting agility, I just gave him supersonic instead. So now his star moves would be wing attack and supersonic instead of wing attack and agility because, you know, sometimes, you know, to send the computer just kind of randomly walk between attacks for gym battles, but he would just pretty much just be on agility the whole fight and he wouldn't even attack. So. <laughs> I figured out, like, eh, let me just give something, you know, a nice option to move these and learn. Which is another reason I chose the duo and mirror moves, because you can actually pretty much bounce back on him and he'll do, like, a lot of damage to him. So. Especially if you didn't catch any water Pokemon or Pokemon that can use water attack, you know. So, like I said, alternatively, you could poison him or paralyze him when he comes to sleep, you know, depending on what Pokemon. You know, Pokemon should caught up to this point. Anyhow, you know, I'm just gonna, even though he's a rock Pokemon, I think my best bet is really the pick right now, considering, uh, I got Leap Seed up, so, uh, I mean, he's, he's losing health, and I don't think Rock can use a potion, I don't believe, so, you know, you don't have to worry about a full restore or anything happening. Yeah, so I figured, given the Super Science, I'd like to have a little bit more intense, you know, for a first gen battle. And it gives you a nice, nice amount of experience. And so, you know, he still has his key Pokemon on it. So I'll switch back to Burger Mill. And he's going 15, you know, we're we'll up there. You know, as it should be for a gym and Pokemon. And I also gave, I think I switched around his moves a little bit. He has Target and a couple other moves now. But, you know, I was going to use Bion with him in the battle right now because you know, he can probably just kill me in one hit if I'm not careful. There we go, you know, four times weakness. You know, that's about it. Even though he does have a lot of defense, you know, if I wasn't at this level, I'm most likely, <laughs> he could have probably lived that. Anyhow, well, you get your first gen badge and stuff. And another feature that if you play the original uh, version 2, um, all the gym leaders give you, I believe it's three of their teams instead of one. So like, let's say if you wanted more than one person to learn by it, now you have variety. Like, you can you know, have three, at least three people learn by it by ten now. Um, another reason I did that is if you don't like the move or you're not going to use the team or whatnot, you can actually sell it some money, which is, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll need money in this game, you know. <laughs> you'll find that out later. Anyhow, so I got the first badge. I made, made a little while to put another video. Um, just a little comment. Just let me know how you think. And break out. <laughs>